What up? It's your boy Harry Wilmington here. Welcome up, IDS Mob. So I'm taking a break from the podcast this week, but I wanted to do a few like personalized videos for YouTube here. And I want to talk today about how much power you actually have in determining how your life is going to go and how your relationships are going to go just based on what you say and what you think. Now, I'm 40 years old. I'm 40. And in my lifetime so far, I have noticed and observed that a lot of the things that I have said in terms of what I want out of life, I have been able to have come to fruition as a result of just speaking into the universe and saying I wanted to think. So I'll give you a few examples, right? Back when I was living in Virginia in the East Coast, I said I wanted to go to California. Didn't know how it was going to happen, but long story short, that crap happened. It's amazing. So then at some point, this is when I moved to California, I had no car and I didn't really have a place of my own that I really liked. I was, I was living with roommates and I would keep saying, for example, things like I want to get a car. Specifically, I want to get a Prius. I said I wanted to get my own apartment at some point. Um, and I said that I don't know how to afford a house in California. But I want to get a place where I can have my own little filming studio of some kind, ideally with the garage, where I'd be able to film stuff, all right? Didn't know how any of that stuff's going to happen, okay? So fast forward to now, I have an apartment that is above a garage that I was able to turn into a studio. And about three or four years ago, I bought the Prius that I wanted. And so there have been a plethora of other things in my life that I have said where I've talked about, I want to do this thing, I want to go this place, I want to go that place, and those things have happened, okay? So, I point this out because there really is something to the idea of if you say something that you want and put into the world that you want to come to you, it can happen, good or bad. And that's what I need you to focus on, is the bad. Because just as though you can say, I want something positive to happen, and you have positive thoughts about that thing happening, and eventually it ends up happening, you can also say negative stuff about yourself and about your relationship life that could result in you not getting the dating results you want. So for example, when I was in my 20s, I didn't think I was that great looking. I didn't think that I had the best chemistry with women, or I thought that they think that I was weird or odd or strange or whatever. And so I had that narrative in my head, and I didn't do very well at dating. At the point where I started to see myself as, hey, you know what? I'm an attractive guy and I do have worth and value and I can bring something you know, positive to my relationships. That's when my dating life and my relationship life started to get better. But even within those things happening, if I started backtracking and start thinking this is too good to be true or start thinking, you know, this person's going to eventually leave me or they're going to treat me like all the other women did or whatever, then just... By me saying that out loud, it's almost like your body and how you're functioning in life will, will, will propel, propel towards whatever you're telling it and thinking about it. So if you think this relationship's not going to work out, it's too good to be true, then life is going to happen whereby that ends up happening. If you say things like, well, this person's probably going to cheat on me, you could inadvertently start doing things or activities that can make the other person doubtful of the relationship and then want to go cheat on you. And they might not have even thought they were going to do that in the first place, but you kept saying it to them. You kept saying, well, I don't like when you hang out with these other girls or, you know, I think that you're trying to step out on me. And you could be saying that enough times to where it's almost like you're not propelling that other person to live out the thoughts and fantasies that you already had for this relationship in the first place. And so some of you guys honestly are failing at relationships simply because you have a negative thought life. And as a result of that, you are consistently doing things in the hopes of not having a negative thing happen, but that's actually making a negative thing happen. It's like the whole Oedipus complex, the, the whole sort of Oedipus and how he was told when he was younger, hey, he's going to grow up to kill his father and marry his mother. So the parents tried to do everything they could to make sure that didn't happen. And that's like exactly what ended up happening. That's your relationship life. So think about this. You are ultimately in control of your thoughts and your feelings and how you operate in the world. So you have your own choice in deciding, do you want to continue to be the guy that thinks about how awful he is and how bad he looks and how women just don't want him and how based on past history with women that you're going to always be a failure with women? Or do you want to finally get into the mindset of, hey, you know what? I'm a great guy. I have things to offer women and I should be somebody that woman is proud to be in a relationship with. Now, 
Maybe your life's not, you don't think your life's currently set up like that. Maybe you think that, you know what? I could be doing better in my job situation, in my living situation. I don't have a car. I'm living with four or five roommates. What woman's going to want me? Well, those are things that you have to work on. But I will tell you this. I've had all those things and still been able to date. So that still goes back to, is your frame of mind the thing that's really holding you back? Because I'll tell you, I've had times like in college, I had a job, I had a car, and I had no girlfriend. I could get one, but my mind frame wasn't set to where I thought I could, so I didn't. And then when I moved to California, I had times where I was like living on a couch, didn't have a place, didn't have a car, and was still dating women. Why? Mindset change. I didn't think that those things now could deter me from being able to get a great woman. But the thing is, it's my mind had to change. I had to spend years being able to figure out how do I need to feel about myself and view myself in a way that's going to allow me to have the self-confidence and more importantly, have the emotional ability to connect with women in a way where they feel that connection also. If you don't have that right now, I feel bad about that, but only you can change that. But that said, you can have somebody help you with that. Like me, I have a whole program at my website called Introvert Dating Success Academy, and it is designed to help get you to a place where you will feel as though you are actually worthy of a partner. We teach you about how to not only feel better about yourself, but how to actually be better, how to improve yourself, how to go after the things you want, how to look at the way that dating works for women, and how to figure out how you can connect yourself in a, with yourself in a way to where you actually feel like a worthy person, worthy enough to get the women that you want. If that's something you want help with, then definitely go to introvertdatingsuccess.com, click on the program tab, and we can you can apply for that, and we can have a conversation about what that would mean for you in your dating life. But I, I urge you to start really considering that the way you think about yourself, the way you talk to yourself, the way you view yourself is highly skewed, and the only one that can change that is you. Because if I think you're great, but you don't think you're great, then you're not going to get the results that you want, regardless of how great I think you are. And there are women out there right now that think you are a great freaking guy. And you're not getting them because your brain is so stuck in the mode of I can't get women that you don't even see them. Or you don't even see the signals they're throwing you that would indicate that they would want to be with you. Okay? So figure out how to work on that. Again, website introvertdatingsuccess.com, click on the programs tab and check out my Introvert Dating Success Academy, all right? I'll be back this week with some more off-the-cuff messages just like this, but uh, yeah, I will catch you guys later, all right? Peace.